Yeah. All right, welcome to our show, and uh, I am Vincent Wong, founder of Solution on Wheels, and with me, my co-host, Andrew Work, editor-in-chief of Harbor Times. Hey, Vincent, great welcome. to be down here. Uh, all right, this week, yes. we have to look at both the thermometer and the barometer. Yes. It's so humid right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of numbers out there. But you're, you're telling me there's another type of barometer? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we've got one that's coming up uh, later this morning. Uh huh. There's going to be the presentation by the uh, global public relations firm Edelman. Uh huh. And they're going to be releasing their annual trust barometer. Oh, that one. Yeah. The so trust yeah. barometer. We're always looking for people to look ahead. Oh, yeah. Look and see what's going on. So look for the trust barometer. Uh, and what it does is it measures the level of trust in societies, not just in Hong Kong, but in different countries around the world. Politicians, business people, uh, how much people trust media, uh, trusting each other. So I've been there a couple and of years And they use the word barometers because these are all relative, right? It's all relative. <laughs> of course, I think a barometer is a measure of pressure. Yeah. And so, you know. When is it pressure? It's a measure of pressure, yeah. A measure of pressure, yes. So when the pressure increase, I, I don't want to get into the whole meteorology of it, but yeah, essentially it's a measure of pressure, high pressure. But the relative, pressure humi rate. the relative humidity can be measured by the barometer. Uh, yes, but it comes through pressure, pressure apparently. Pressure as yeah. well. Ah. We'll get some meteorologists on the show, maybe from the Hong Kong Observatory. Ah. Uh, can we explain all that? But the trust barometer measures the levels of trust and whether it's rising or falling in society. Uh, so this one, of course, the, sam the polling was all done in 2015, so it has nothing to do with any riots or you know, things that have happened the last couple of months. But it will be very interesting to get the general take on where trust is going in Hong Kong. Mm. And for us, I think in particular in politicians. Yeah. Uh, one thing I would like to stress is um, any kind of uh, trust measurement. Yeah. Uh, trust being a taxit. Uh, value, yep. not an explicit value. Mm. Uh, it always rely on two things. Mm -hmm. First is uh, consistency. Yeah, you have to trust someone because it's consistent. Sure, you are one of my trusted co-hosts yeah. because you always appear on time. Somewhat on time. Yeah, <laughs> on time. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I, yeah. I, I sometimes got hosts that just disappear for no reason. Really? Oh, I yeah. can do that? Oh, I didn't know. Oh, yeah, now I know. No, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course I would. They were fired. Yeah. Okay, but uh, Okay. So you you can be trusted because of that. Right. And other issue is the more um, the psychological factor of, yeah. of trust. It's not the consistency, but right. um, if you're in distress, mm -hmm. if you're in a crisis, yeah. Would someone reach out? Yeah. That is also a sign of trust. So okay. uh, I think in terms of trust, there are two elements. Yeah. One is the consistency element, mm -hmm. but on the other hand, there's also a surprise element. Okay. Yeah, because if someone surprisingly help you when you're in crisis, mm. then you start to gain trust okay. from the people. So mm. there are two okay. elements. One right. is the, um, the the regular measurement, right. and then there's the the special Special, Occasion. ca special yeah. occasions. Okay, special so occasions. You, you, that's how you divide it up. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. All right. Um, well, it will be interesting to see. Very interested. I do want to slip into almost a second topic. Uh, there's one group that I think it's a really interesting question as to whether or not they are still have trust in our chief executive, uh. and that's the business community. Uh, and the reason for that is last week David Tang gave a barnstormer of a speech at the FCC. Oh. It was. Un it was it was shocking because he has not made it, he's not like an Emily Lau or Lee Chuk Yen who has to go out and trash the government every day. This was really a shock to a lot of people. Uh, I knew people that were there that were just like, "Wow, what am I listening to?" But uh, it's a speech. Well, we we put it up and said it's well worth listening to. Uh, number one for just the level of dismay that was expressed, and what this makes me ask is the business community starting to break ranks. You know, of course, Henry Tang was their guy in the day. Uh, but are they starting to break ranks now? And is David Tang kind of firing the first shot? Or is that just David Tang fed up and has had enough? No, you know David. I don't. Yeah. I don't know him that well. You know David. Uh, uh, he will say whatever he wants to say something, right? So, apparently. Uh, no holding uh, back. So I, I'm guessing it's less of a strategic attack. Yeah. And you think it's just him being him? It's a show. Yeah. yeah. But of course, it could be a mixture of both as well. Yes. Uh, but definitely, mm. what I want to say is that next year, mm. this week, yeah. we'll be seeing all sort of muslinging oh, yeah. in the political arena. Oh, because yeah, yeah, we'll be in the middle of the chief. Next year, election. this week, is the final month 
bah. of the chief executive election. Right. Yeah, remember Henry Tang's uh, secret underground basement. Oh, yes, it the, was the underground about basements time. came out. Yeah. yeah, it was in February. So, yeah. well, it's actually much, look out for that. much closer than we thought. Yeah. Uh, but before that, we will have the by election this Sunday. The uh, Legislative Council election in September. Yes. And a lot of people forgot the about the elec Electoral Committee. Yes, very important. Yeah. Very important. So, uh, with that in mind, I have to thank my co host, Andrew Walker again. Hey, good, good work, Andrew. My pleasure. Hey, looking for great solutions, Vincent. Pleased okay. to be here. Thanks. Like, share us, okay? Please leave your comments below mm -hmm. and uh, like us in uh, Facebook and uh, also YouTube, Solution on Wheels or SOW, and also in uh, Reddit. You're not expanding every platform, right? Har Harbor Times, uh, harbortimes.com, Harbor with a U, of course, at Harbor Times on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So get out there and get it all. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, uh, we will not be having a morning show, but an afternoon show mm -hmm. after the financial secretary announced his uh, budget. Yeah. So uh, we'll be analyzing the budget tomorrow. So uh, do click uh, after 4 p.m. We'll be doing an... Uh, Analysis. Well, we're going to tape at 4 p.m., so maybe a little bit later. Yeah, but yeah, yeah we yeah, look play into 4 p.m. We, we have live broadcast at 4 p.m. So yeah, yeah. Uh, and tape it at the same time. So oh, click in at okay. 4 p.m. Wow. We'll, we'll see you then. All, All right. right. Cheers. Catch you later.